Her body is tired and racked with meningitis B, and it was ultimately consumed by it. Faberdet's death has since prompted more than 500,000 people to sign a petition pleading for all children to be immunised against it. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going to go? Harmony Rose also had the disease 18 months ago, but she survived. People just don't realise what meningitis does and what it, how it kills people and the amount of damage it does and how fast. Yet she struggles every single day of her young life. All her limbs had to be amputated because of it. One day she turned around and said, Mummy, where's Harmony's hands? And I said, oh, you don't need hands anyway. And she turned around and said, oh... Meningitis doesn't care who it gets and what they look like or who they are, how rich they are. It can get anybody. It's true, this disease attacks indiscriminately. Former England rugby player Matt Dawson's son Sammy is also recovering from it. He too wants the injection for every child. It should be available not just to toddlers but to children across the board. I mean, it, it, it's a ridiculous thought to have been a year, a year old child is not at the moment eligible for a B, a B vaccine. But since last July, that vaccine has been available on the NHS to children aged between two and five months. But any older and parents must pay privately for it. And it's still being trialled. Nigel Klein is a consultant in paediatric infectious diseases. When we introduce any new drug or vaccine, we always have a period of assessment. And I think that's what's happening with this vaccine. It's fantastic that we've got it. Uh, if it works, it will be uh, very good news. But it's too early to say whether we should roll it out to all age groups until we know how well it's going to work. So while the professionals proceed with caution, unprotected, vulnerable lives must continue to battle. Lucy Watson, News at 10.